President Trump did an interview with Laura Ingram, and uh, he admitting he admitted something that should be a giant scandal. But aren't we sending more troops to the region as we speak? Uh, we're sending more to Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia is paying us for it. You know, we're doing something that nobody's ever done. I said to Saudi Arabia, we have a very good relationship with Saudi Arabia. I said, listen, you're a very rich country. You want more troops? I'm going to send them to you, but you've got to pay us. They're paying us. They've already deposited $1 billion in the bank. Excuse you? Okay, he just admitted he's selling U.S. troops to a theocratic dictator. I don't know why this isn't the biggest scandal in the country right now. He admitted he's selling troops to Saudi Arabia to do their bidding, protect their oil fields. Now, by the way, I mean, this shouldn't even have to be said, but I'll say it. The whole thing about, oh, they deposited a billion dollars. There's no evidence of that at all. That's classic Trump. I'm just going to say whatever I want. Yeah, they deposited a billion dollars. Really? <laughs> Do you have receipts on that, bro? He's not going to show it because it doesn't exist. But beyond that, let's say for a second that that's true. He acts like that makes it okay. Like, oh yeah, they gave us a billion dollars, so obviously American men and women, you know, from Wyoming and California and Hawaii and Nebraska, I'm now sending them to you. And if they happen to die while defending your oil fields, so be it. We had a transaction. That's the way that we think of U.S. troops. That's the way we talk about U.S. troops. Their pawns to protect the petrodollar. He sold U.S. troops to Saudi Arabia. I'll send them to you, but you have to pay. Oh, is that dark. So in other words, U.S. troops are now a private mercenary army for theocratic dictators around the world. And U.S. interests. Again, I don't know why this isn't the biggest story in the country right now. Now, I want you to imagine a scenario for me where, instead of saying it about Saudi Arabia, he said it about Russia. He said, yeah, Vladimir Putin called me, and I said, hey, listen, you, you know, you're a wealthy country, send me a billion dollars, and then we'll, uh, I'll give you your troops, I'll give you U.S. troops. If, he's, if he was selling U.S. troops to Russia, that would be the biggest story in the country, and everybody would quite correctly say, oh, that this means you're a Putin puppet. This means that. Yeah, that's a fair point to make in that scenario. Absolutely. But since it's not Russia and it's Saudi Arabia, nobody bats an eyelash. And uh, same with, if it was Israel, same thing. People be like, yeah, well, that's what we do. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Israel, Saudi Arabia, we do whatever the hell they want and we use our troops as pawns. That's what it is. So don't give me this rah-rah America BS. Don't give me this I love the troops nonsense. You wouldn't be selling them to use as pawns to protect Saudi Arabia if that, if that was the case. So this is abysmal. This is terrible. More people should be talking about this, and they're not. God forbid if a different president said this about our troops, I think it would be the biggest scandal in the country. But since it's Trump and we just get bombarded all the time with scandal after scandal after scandal, outrage after outrage after outrage, Sometimes the media misses like the biggest ones that are right in front of our nose. And this happens to be one of them.